Hey, did you catch the final rocket launch of the historic year in space flight? Falcon 9 overnight brought to a close the most prolific year ever for launches here. So the 93 rockets that took off in 2024 shattered 2023's record of 72. New 6's James Bravero tells us the bar could be set even higher for 2025. And liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket. A brand new rocket was one of the first launches of the year in 2024. And now it looks like the same could be true for 2025. An aerospace advisory from the FAA suggests Blue Origin's New Glenn could make its flight debut on our space coast as soon as Monday now. Having something that can lift that much mass. This bright aerospace student talked to me last week about more competition entering the commercial space sector. Of the record shattering 93 launches this year, only five were not SpaceX rockets. Technology can't really progress if there's just one big company like holding the industry hostage, you know? We're going to work every single day trying to make science fiction a reality. Also in January, with President Trump's inauguration, private astronaut Jared Isaacman, who made the first commercial spacewalk during Polaris Dawn, will replace Bill Nelson as NASA Administrator. NASA's interests next year include watching the continuing development of SpaceX's Starship, so the largest rocket ever can be ready to land astronauts on the moon, now in 2027, and finally, bringing home NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. Butch and Sonny were the first crew of Boeing's Starliner, which because of all its issues, NASA didn't take the risk of ending their test flight to the International Space Station as planned. Touchdown. And brought the capsule back without the crew. Now the plan is for the stuck astronauts to come home on a SpaceX capsule in March or April. Butch and I have been up here for a number of months. Sonny, who grew up in Massachusetts, made an off-the-cuff comment about finally coming home when she talked to a New England sports channel last month. You know, I have my, you know, Patriot shirt while I'm up here and stuff like that as well. And I have a Red Sox spring training. Hopefully um, I'll be home before that happens, but you never know. So while Butch and Sonny ring in 2025 in space, down here a nearly $2 billion project is about to start. Space Florida says Project Hinton will create about 600 local jobs, paying around six figures. The details of the project are not known to the public, but we do know that construction is expected to start next month. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new six.